thing about the Brighton 19 was they were sometimes 23 and sometimes 18. Let me explain. This was our governor, George, Cypriot born but Croydon grown. He was English at art. Any time we had any trouble with the locals, we'd simply say, This is George, he's our governor, he's going to give you a slap. The locals would soon pipe down and let us carry on with our drink. This was the governor's second in command, Neil Deja, the playboy. He was part of a smaller crew who joined the Brighton 19 a few years back. The other members were Sam the Food King Bue and Joe Parker. Parker's old man was Northern, but we never held it against him. Those three were wanted for more crimes than Slabodan Milosevic, for Christ's sake. Then there was Phil Mortimer, a.k.a. Phil the Knife, a.k.a. Phil the Slice, a.k.a. Phil. Phil loved chatting up the birds. His approach was he'd simply walk up to a lady and say, Oh, I'm Phil Mortimer, I'm going to kiss you now. He'd always come back and be saying, Oh, she was a right sort. Then there was Mark the Mouth Sweeney, sharp with the tongue and sharp with the dance moves as well. Everyone knew he was Asian, but he would never admit it. But we let it go because he was pretty naughty and a meat. On the left was Pete Williams. He was from Essex and he never let you forget about it. He bloody loved Bill Aruki. On the right was Sam Drain. He was mental, but we never knew what he was thinking, so we let him join in the meet. He was quality. The one belly dancing was Will. We used to joke about him looking pregnant as he had a rotund belly, but he was pretty handy with a bat. On the left was Samir Yegni. He was Algerian born and used to get a lot of stick from the other firms for it, but we loved him anyway. On the right was Lee Baldwin. We killed him the bear due to his massive size. He was like a giant. The one on top of the bear and the mouth was Connor. He was from Reading, so you know no one was ever going to mess with him. In between Northern Joe and Mouth was Martin Cameron. He never hung about. He was always first in and last one out of the meet, and he loved the bevy. The one in yellow was Disco Dave, or when we were on the continent, Disco Tech David. He was well handy in a meet and would never hold back from anything. I don't know if you can see him, but the one in the back in the green t-shirt was Jarvis D'Souza. He was the numbers man. He worked out all the cash we made and rolled over to the bank every week. He was always the hardest to pack because of the nature of his job and the fact that he loved sleeping. The one next to the mouth was Darren Newland. He could organise anything. He was the ideal employee. But behind the curtains he was also the ideal man to have in a meet. The one in the front in the white show was State. He was a famous Watford Ultra. He wouldn't hear a bad word said about his beloved team. Even though he used to support United. But we keep that on a hush. Other firms hated going up against this one. This was Dave Pink. A man of few words, but he was so lethal it was ridiculous. You'd have more chance surviving 10 rounds with Bruce Lee than you would with this crazy nutter. And then there was me, on the left, Nice Guy Gabbo. I was called Nice Guy Gabbo because of the fact I was actually from a nice area. And I spoke like this, but I hated it because I had a real nasally voice. I was partial to a bit of the old mentalness. Take this for instance when I drank a whole bottle of water just to get the night started. The lads bloody loved it. And there I was, a nice lad from Amsterdam, out of my element completely with 18 absolute nutters. But I was going to love and enjoy every single minute of it. You can go your own way. Go your own way. Go your own way. You can call it love. The thing about the Brighton 19 was that we loved booting, football and birds and playing titty ball and going mental and male bonding and booting and football, boozing and birds and pool banter football and male bonding and saying oh no and more boozing and more football and boozing birds and lots of boozing we were over the drink living the dream and nothing was going to stop us until something stopped us during a meet with some of the MAGA ultras we lost a brave warrior in Samir Yegni I don't like to talk about it much but it hurt that's when we realised we had to grow up And in a flash, the dream was over. We didn't have a pot to piss in. It was about time we went back home. None of us were too happy about it, but sometimes life just takes you places you don't want to go. For me, MAGA was one of them. But for the 19 of us, we had a blinding time. Every bar we went into played this song. Somehow I think they knew that the Brighton 19 was walking in. Dolphins Like dolphins
hands can sway Though nothing, nothing will keep us together We can beat them forever and ever Oh, we can be heroes just for one 